means Allah is greater, greater than the God of the Jews and the Christians. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the, the chosen lineage is not Isaac and Jacob. The chosen lineage is Ishmael. So Ishmael is a man of war. Esau, his, uh, his son-in-law and his nephew, is a man of war, a man of the sword. And Allah is a god of the sword. And they're saying that their god, this macho war god, man of the sword god, is greater than the sissy god of the Jews and the Christians. Because the god of the Jews and the Christians is a god of love and a god of peace and a god of the farmers, mm -hmm. and a god of the shepherds. If you're a man of the sword, what's all this business? You, you kill the shepherd, mm -hmm. you kill the farmer, and you take away, you plunder everything he has. That's Islam. So, the, now by the way, for Christians, Jews don't understand this so much, but Christians understand this. Who said he was greater than God before his fall? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Satan. Satan. Allah is Satan. Allah is not the god of the Jews and the Christians. And by the way, it's very, very important. Who is our God? Our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, mm -hmm. and Jacob, the God of the Jews and the Christians, loves the Jews. He says so in the Bible. Mm -hmm. He says that his covenant with the Jews is an everlasting mm -hmm. covenant. In the New Testament, God creates a new covenant to graft in the, the former pagans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into the Jews. Once you graft into the Jews, you're not pagans anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and does this God love the Christians too? I mean, he wouldn't graft them into the Jews mm -hmm. if he hated mm -hmm. the Jews. God, so God loves the Jews, God loves the Christians, God loves the Hindus, God loves the Buddhists. He doesn't agree maybe with their system in our point of view. Mm -hmm. God loves the black people and God loves the Muslims because Muslims are human beings created mm -hmm. in his image. Mm -hmm. uh, the God of Allah hates the Jews. The God of Allah hates the Christians. The God of Allah hates the Hindus and Buddhists and blacks. And I think the God of Allah hates the Muslims too. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, you look at the Quran, and I'll give you a few quotes. I know we have a very short time mm -hmm. before this program is over, and so I hate to dominate. You can mm -hmm. cut, mm -hmm. all, cut me off yeah. if you want. Fine. But, uh, you know, in the Quran, I'll just give you some quotes, and in the Hadith, give you some quotes. And uh, these are things that most Americans never heard of before. So, for example, in chapter 5, verse 51 of the Quran, it says, uh, Believers, Muslims, take neither the Jews nor the Christians for your friends. Period. Mm -hmm. The Jews and the Christians are friends with one another. Whoever, whoever befriends them will become one of their number. Allah does not guide the wrongdoer. Yeah. And there are stories, plenty of them, about Muslims who have been killed because they befriended Jews and Christians. And they were killed by their fellow Muslims for doing that. Uh, and this is also, by the way, in my book, is Fanatic Islam, a Global Threat. I give a story about a young woman in uh, St. Louis who was murdered. Uh, a Palestinian Muslim woman, young 16-year-old girl, she dated a black uh, Christian American and she was stabbed to death by her parents and it was all on tape. By her parents? Her parents stabbed her. You cannot date a, a Christian or a black man or a Jew. Anyway, chapter 5 verse 60 talks about uh, the, what is called the Allah hated those who betrayed him. It doesn't say that it's the Jews and the Christians, but it's understood by the Muslims that, that uh, Allah hates the Jews and the Christians. He has cursed them and he has turned them into apes and swine. In other words, the Jews are now apes and the Christians are now swine. And um, their, their, their destiny is hell and torment. You know, that's what it says in the Quran. So, my wife, Rachel, as you know, listens, uh, in, she's Egyptian, so Arabic is her mother tongue, and she listens to the radio broadcast. And here, we have just a, about a year ago, a, tape, uh, a taped message, which my wife taped for the Israeli radio. She does an intelligence type of work. And the uh, Mufti of Jerusalem, the top Islamic cleric in Jerusalem, uh, Sabri, makes a speech, and he says, kill the Jews, kill the Christians, kill the Israelis, kill the Americans, kill the children of the apes, and kill the children of the swine. Now, every Muslim school child knows that the children of the apes are the Jews and the children of the swine are the Christians. This is what it says in chapter 5, verse 60 of the Quran. And indeed, you know, there is this uh, lie perpetrated by the Muslims that uh, the reason they attacked New York City on 9-11 was because of American support for Israel. But the simple fact is that this business of killing the Jews and the Christians goes back 1,400 years and it goes back to the Quran where it says, kill the children of the apes and kill the children of the swine. So it has nothing to do with the state of Israel that's only been around 56 years, or the United States that's been around for 400 years. This is a war that has been going on for a very long time.